goodness. I, what a find. What a barn find that is. It's, it's amazing. It was in a garage, and they had a car cover on it, had sheets on it first, then a car cover, and then heavy blankets covering the car. And then the door, the garage door, was covered with blankets. And then it was a blanket on the floor um, in front of the door to in case their little wind would come in or anything. I, I think this, this qualifies as car worship at this point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, <laughs> the guy said that uh, I bought it from the niece, and the niece said that her uncle wouldn't let anyone in the, the car unless they had their shoes off, only one person at a time, and he kept a sweatshirt in the trunk, an extra large sweatshirt. In case you wanted to get near the car, he had to put the sweatshirt on so it would protect the buttons and zippers. You know, look at the condition of this car. This is a, a time machine. This is a flashback to 1954. Raymond Lowy design, again, way ahead of its time. The cars didn't start looking like this in the regular uh, marketplace until 1964, and this is a 1954. You know, the really cool thing is, is that I love this car. So, you know, I didn't really pursue it, but when it came to me, it was just, it was unbelievable. They sent me a picture. I went to to look at it and they, they said, listen, we're asking this much money. They took the cover off of it and, and the minute the cover came off the fender, I said, I'm done, we're, here's the check. <laughs> Please take my money now. Exactly, that's right, before you change your mind. <laughs> that's right. Do you really want it? I go, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, two seconds, yes, I want the car. Unbelievable. What a beautiful car this is, yeah. Yeah. What about the, the hubcaps, the wheel covers there? What's the story with the wheel covers? I mean, I don't think I've seen those. And, you know, I had a Studebaker guy in, in the shop the other day, and no one has ever seen the spinners on those hubcaps. Yeah. Now, I don't know if that's something he added, but I doubt it. I think that this was just a special hubcap that you might have been able to order back then because the center of the hubcap is the normal, uh, like, gold little thing in the center. But, right. I mean, just such beauty and simplicity. Yeah. You know, and that's that's the that's the Italian way of doing things. Simple but beautiful. Right, right, right. Elegance through simplicity, and it really sets off the color of the car. The color is sort of indicative of the era too. Um, I, I couldn't have even ask for a better car. Yeah. yeah you know, with yeah, the color, yeah. the the top being the way that it is. I mean, it's an unbelievable car. I'm so fortunate. Okay, now Wayne, I have to ask you about your social media. I saw a picture of you with your dad from 1969, and it looked like you were on tour with the Grateful Dead. What's going on with that? No, actually, uh, you know, I wasn't a deadhead, uh, but uh, but we did like to go out and uh, and listen to music all the time. I mean, at the, we went to this place called the Shabu Inn, and, and uh, it was it was great stuff. Uh, I was. Uh, you know, I, I grew my hair long, you know, in rebellion probably, but I had a beard down here, I had a ponytail down the middle of my back. That's right, that's what we saw. But you know, what happened is, is that I met my wife uh, at, at a law, law office and she was a secretary and she said, you know, you're kind of cute, if, I, if you'd cut that stuff off, I'd go out with you. And I immediately ran to the barber shop and it's been off ever since. Oh my goodness, what an awesome story, that is fantastic. A bygone era, but it was really awesome to see you with your dad. I know he really sort of implanted that love of cars early on with you. Absolutely. You know, I was very fortunate. I grew up uh, on a farm where my dad restored cars in the old cow barn. He's in Maseratis and Oscars and all sorts of stuff. So I was uh, in, in the area of, of just loving cars as a, at a young age. It's in your blood. You can't get rid of it once that happens. A 1954 Studebaker Commander unbelievable quality of a car 7,000 miles this thing is is pristine as a, is there anything more pristine than this in from 1954 I haven't seen anything but you know an a Studebaker is a tough car because you know they were they were made but not to the quality of other cars so to see something like this that has, has maintained its beautiful paint and interior it's, it's a miracle that it's happened amazing Wayne Carini thanks for joining us